Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, I'm Sankey84 and welcome back to Mass Effect 2 where today we're going to finish off the uh, final little mission we've got before we go on to the big stuff. So yeah, the Blue Suns have got a fault signal going out that's attracting merchants and ambushing them. That's what we're going to get done today. And then we can finally, assuming nothing else comes up, get down to the Crescent Nebula and deal with all this. We'll have Miranda, Liara, Ilium, whichever one that is, I can't remember. And then we can recruit the final two members. Or I'll probably get the two members first because they're probably going to want to speak to me about some mission as well. So, all right, let's get over it, deal with the blue suns, and see if we can finally put them to rest. I have detected an anomaly. Okay, so, fine. We'll um, get the anomaly, and I'll do me usual scan as well of the planet, and then we'll head down. Check all those tunnels for runners. Report back to Captain Nerum when you're done. Check all those tunnels for runners. Report back to Captain Nerum when you're done. Check all those tunnels for runners. Report back to Captain Nero when you're done. Check all those tunnels for scans have found something. Okay. As I say, we're gonna finish scanning the planet first. Might as well grab all the resources we can. Okay, I'm thinking Garrus has got experience with these. So yeah, we'll take him. And I think Grunt can have a run out as well because he's not had a run out for a while. Okay. Oh, Heads there up. we go. Yeah, that's fine. I was going to say, I wonder if he's gone to alert everybody. Oh, down you go. Let's just clear these out. Excuse me. Not very welcoming of you, is it? Ow. Ow, okay. Nope. Down you go, please. Feel the flood rage. Oh. And oh. how the hell did that one miss? I don't know, but five. Okay. One to worry about. Out the bloody shotgun ammo. Great. Come on. You're down anyway. Okay. Well, that was a welcome party. Okay, let's see what we've got inside. Due to concerns over employee safety, the Broadfield Mining Facility has been closed until further notice. Enemy! Okay, fine. Right. In that case, then. I'm guessing these are not employees, then, are they? There we just go. I've got the high ground. It ain't gonna work for you. One less to worry about. Go! Down you go. You just keep climb up and I'll just keep knocking him down. Well, I am starting to run a bit low on ammo this Oh. Okay. Right. Oh, I got that's got a quite a bit of recoil on it, hasn't right. it? Now you're dead. Come on. Okay. You know what? Screw this. Oh. Nobody's got anything. Hey. Okay. Fine. Oh. 
This should slow him down. No, oh, 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 there we go. That will stop them all together. Now they're dead. Right, can I please have some ammo back? Oh, you're not doing too well, are you? Okay. Thank you, and thank you. Plenty more ammo, just what I need. Right, question is... Right, you want me to go that way? So, fine, we'll go in this way first. Oh, okay. Just the barracks and probably a safe with some money in it. Yep, why am I not surprised? Okay, right. Well, I'm guessing that didn't go too well for you then, did it? Okay, nothing else in there, so... Right, let's see what you've got down here for me. Hold on a minute, I just... Ah! Okay. Due to Phillips' brilliant expansion of the northern mining tunnels into the mess hall last week, our small facility will be closing indefinitely. All teams will be transferred to the nearest starbase shortly. Okay, right, so... Lovely. Okay, that's fine. Firing eye impact shot. No, 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 no. Go away. Ahead. Okay, that's that way taken care of. There's the next lot. We've got a major haul coming in from that dig site, boys. Move all the unsorted cargo to the mines to make room. Whoever you are, you won't make it out of here alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Okay, we've got some. We've been spotted. What? Fine. What? Not care of. Ow! Don't stand next to the explosives. Okay, I've learned that. Jeez. Okay, fine. Okay, this time get into some proper cover, not the explosive type. And, oh, okay, so I've explosive type. Fine. Wait, get me health back again. Too late. Now you're dead. Right. Ow! Don't blow me up. First, I'm meant to shoot you if you keep it blow me up. Okay, that's the first one down. Now, just to take care of you. But that everybody has to like look at it. Had to do with what? Here we go, come on. Back. There we go. Down you go. See? Told you I wasn't going to die. The second time. Right. No, you don't. Listen, if them mechs couldn't finish me off, what makes you think you will? Okay. There we go. Right. That's the next lot though, dealt with. So, okay. Let's just make sure I've got all my ammo back. Because I'm going to need it. And, okay. Wait a minute. You won't be going off in that direction, so... Fine. I'll check this one, then we'll do the middle. Probably, yes. More bloody money. Alright, fine. Oh, okay. Did not realise this was the beacon in here. Fine. Well, okay, before I do that... Yeah, there's an area over here. Let me guess. Okay. Let me guess. Money? No! Oh my god! computer 
with actual information on it. Bloody hell. Right. Finally, something I can actually get my teeth into. An agent from the prospective client arrives today. The client's asked for discretion, which raises a few red flags. On the commander's suggestion, I plan to persuade the agent to divulge the nature and location of the cargo. That didn't take long. The client's agent folded under minimum pressure. Commander's hunch was correct. The client hopes to hire us to move a Prothean artifact from the dig site. With a little more pressure, the agent should gladly give up the location of the dig site itself. It took some persuasion, but the agent gave up the location of the dig site. I'm dispatching ships and men to the location now. He ought to be pleased. The Prothean artifact is worth much more than we'd ever get for transporting it. Okay, fine. So, yeah, this is all about artifacts. Well, actually, it's all about money, but you know. Artifacts and money, same diff thing. Right, let's go and turn this beacon off, shall we? And see... Yeah, what's going to happen next is... I'm saying ambush. Or explosion, okay. Okay, so we've done that one pretty quick. Right, fine then. You know what? Screw it. Let's get on with the next bit. Might as well have a nosy at, yeah, wherever's next. Okay, right. Um, looks like everything is down on the one planet. Okay then, we'll um, just head down. Let's see what turns up, shall we? But yeah, um... Look out for Liara and take Miranda with us. So, Miranda and you know what? I think Kasumi can come with us. It's been a while since she came out with us. Welcome to Nosastra, Commander Shepard. We've been instructed to waive all docking and administration fees for your visit. My name is Karina. If you need information about the area, it would be my pleasure to assist you. Who instructed you to waive the fees? The order came from Liara Tassoni, who paid all fees on your behalf. She also asked that I direct you to speak with her at your convenience. She's near the trading floor. Okay, right. That's fine. We need to speak to her anyway. Okay, right. Quite a bit to talk about. All right, let's get going. And we might as well start with the main one. You said Liara was here? What is she doing? Liara is one of Nosastra's most respected information brokers. Nosastra is based upon trade. Information is valuable currency, and Liara has done quite well. As I said, you'll find her near the trading floor. She was looking forward to seeing you. You mentioned trading. What gets traded on Ilium? Anything you can imagine, Commander. Ilium is a wonderful world for those who can afford it. In order to remain competitive as a Terminus Systems port, we've relaxed many of the standards you'd find on other Asari worlds. Most drugs are legal, provided they are labeled properly. You can buy almost any weapon or technology. You can even buy indentured servants. I can't believe an Asari world would allow slavery. We try to avoid calling it slavery. All indentured servants on Ilium have voluntarily agreed to a term of service. Most choose indentured service as a means to pay off debt or avoid imprisonment. A contract holder is responsible for the well-being of her servants, and a servant's duties are agreed upon before the contract is signed. Okay, that's an interesting way to look at it. As long as it's, you know, agreed by both, I guess it's not really slavery then. What can you tell me about Nosastra? 
It's an exciting city. We see a lot of new cultures and goods because of our proximity to the Terminus systems. At the same time, Ilium is still in a sorry world. You should be as safe here as you would be on the Citadel. For your own safety, however, I recommend against signing anything. Okay, fair do. Remember that, don't sign anything. What's so dangerous about signing something? Ilium is a free trade world commander. Contract term requirements are more relaxed here than on other planets. It's a small price to pay for keeping our competitive edge in goods from the Terminus systems. Do you have any recommendations about what to do on Nosastra? Our trading center is directly ahead. You'll find restaurants and shops nearby as well. I suggest you browse our shopping kiosks. You can find things on Nosastra that you can't find anywhere else in the galaxy. I'm on a mission. Can you help me find someone? I can help you find major entertainment centers or stores, but I'm afraid I can't point you to individual people. Liara is excellent at that type of work, however. I imagine she can help you. Okay, fine. Liara is them. Thank you. Again, welcome to our city, Commander. Please enjoy your stay. Customs records indicated just a car named Samara is visiting this port, Shepard. Your former teammate, Liara Tassoni, may have more information. Her office overlooks the trading floor. You may wish to speak with her regarding the whereabouts of Thane Krios, the assassin on your dossier, as well. Also, I have a message for Miss Lawson. Lantea has reserved a room at Eternity and will be waiting. Thank you, Edie. Okay, right, fine. We've got um, a few bits to check out there. But let's go and have a look for Liara first, and then... Oh, hello. That. I hate it when it does that. It shows up somebody's name and then. I no, you don't understand. I lost it somewhere near the transport terminal. Oh, great. It can't be replaced. It's a token from my bondmate. It's the only thing my child has to remember her father by. Please, if you find it. No, I, I, I understand. Great. Let's help her out then. Pardon me. I'm on a call. Oh, no, fine. Somebody who doesn't want my help. Okay. 25. Sell at 25. No, no, no. You're... Excuse me. Excuse me, are you Commander Shepard? Yes. Who's asking? You? You're Commander Shepard? I saw your... I guess you would say your aura. I'd recognize you anywhere. I was asked to give you a message if I saw you. It's from a friend you made on Novaria. What message were you asked to give? Shepard, we hide. We borrow. We build. But we know that you seek those who soured the songs of our mothers. When the time comes, our voice will join with yours. And our crescendo will burn the darkness clean. Thank you, Shepard. The Rachni will sing again because of you. Okay, right. I'm glad to hear that you're rebuilding. Are you somewhere close by? The Rachni Queen is not here. That message is one of many memories I carry from her. I encountered her on an uncharted world. She saved my life. More than that, she gave me a purpose. They are an amazing people, Shepard. The galaxy owes you a great debt for giving them a second chance. Okay, right, so... We didn't mess up by letting the Queen go free. Okay, that's nice. How did you find the Rachni? I was working as a courier. Pirates ambushed my ship, and I was forced down on an uncharted planet. I was badly injured, alone and near death. Then they found me. They saved me. You obviously got off world again. Did the Rachni give you a ship? No. Countless workers repaired my ship. It runs better now than it did before. They remind me of the keepers on the Citadel in a way. All working together, each with a purpose. What happened to the pirates who attacked you? They were obliterated, as they should have been. The Rachni are not aggressive, but they do what they must. You 
You said the Queen gave you a purpose. What do you mean? The Queen shared her song with me as I recovered. I saw the Rachni as only an Asari could. They are so beautiful and so vulnerable. They needed someone to purchase things they cannot make themselves. Someone to work within the system. An agent, if you will. I am happy to help. My life as a courier was empty and shallow. Now I'm helping a great race rebuild itself. Can you tell me where the Rachni are? I'm afraid not. I don't even have that information myself any longer. After I met the Rachni Queen, that information was removed. It's not painful, but I simply don't remember. I'll remember when I need to. And her caution is understandable. The galaxy isn't yet ready for the return of the Rachni. I got that she was grateful. What else was her message saying? That the first Rachni war was a mistake. Something soured the voices of her people. In Rachni psychology, that would be like mind control, I think. It doesn't really translate. Anyway, she believes you are fighting the ones who did that, and she promises to help. She thinks that the Reapers caused the Rachni war? I can't say for sure, but she was certain that her ancestors were forced into war against their will. Her people aren't naturally aggressive. If they made war, it was not of their own doing. If you can pass a message back, tell her that I'm watching. Don't make me regret setting her free. You won't. She seeks only peace. Be well, Commander Shepard. You will not see me again. Okay, that wasn't the final response I was going for. I must have misread that last one, but... Okay, well... It's fine. Holy no. crap, Shepard. I thought you were dead. Shepard? The news said you were dead. What happened? No, wait, probably classified. Forget I asked. You just have to lie. It's been a couple of years. I'm Gianna Parasini, Novaria Internal Affairs. You helped me nail Administrator Analeas. Happy to help. What happened to Administrator Analeas? He made the one mistake Novaria won't tolerate. He got caught taking their money. He's doing a few years in white collar prison. More importantly, he won't work in the field again. Sit down. If I remember right, I owe you a beer. What brings you to Ilium? You know, that you can talk about. Ooh. Yeah, you know what? Why not? We might as well, everyone might as well know we're going after the Collectors. You ever heard of the Collectors? They're attacking human colonies. I'm gonna stop them. Damn, Shepard. For me, a tough job involves more paperwork. Hey, listen, I just remembered something. I've got to go. Talk to you later. Oh, and okay. don't forget to drink your beer. Oh, okay. I won't. What have you left me? Target saw me, couldn't break cover. Asari merchant smuggling schematics from Novaria. Can you talk her into showing you good stuff? Okay. Alright, well, um, have a look at that again. Just typical, isn't it, that we get... I'm looking for the best tech upgrades you have. Yeah, can't of take course. two steps without help someone wanting help. And figure out what Welcome. You look like someone who needs high quality equipment. Feel free to look around. My store has the best tech and biotic equipment on Ilium. Okay, and... Well, you know my rule. If there's a colour, we're going to go with it. Is everything here so expensive? I'd planned to drop a lot of credits today. Really? I'm outfitting a team for a dangerous mission. I need the best, and I'm willing to pay for it, as long as you work with me. Well, perhaps I could give you a preferred rate at the kiosk. Here, a small discount, and when I get special items in, you can take a look. Oh, okay. What kind of special items are we talking about? Oh, you know, schematics, designs, nothing illegal, but I may not have all the licenses to sell them. 
Okay, let's uh, yeah, see what we can get our hands on. Do you have anything else? Anything not listed on your main merchandise kiosk? Well, there is one thing. Very advanced design. Not publicly available yet. That's because it's still in development on Avaria, and illegal for export. Hello, Hermia. Parasini! You set me up! But this isn't Novaria. You don't have the authority to arrest me. I don't care whether you go to jail. I've got all the evidence I need to find you out of business. Do you have the authority to seize the schematic she's trying to sell? I don't have to. Hermia was under suspicion. We leaked a faulty device to her. All this thing will ever do is blow up in your face. I, I need to go. I have to talk to my lawyer. Talk fast, Hermia. When the fines hit, you won't be able to afford him. Ah, oh, that was good. I've got to go file a few papers. Come by my table when you've got a minute. All right, fine. But, you know what? She's already given us the discount, so... Okay. There's a lot of stuff here. Well, that's a good job we've been getting all that money then, isn't it? Yeah, I'm I'll going take to buy it. you and you. I'm not even reading what these are. I'm just taking it all because, well, why wouldn't I? Oh, okay. Um, I can't afford the power pack. All right, we'll come back to that in a bit. It's fine. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, you know what? She said to come back. Maybe she'll give us some money so we can get them. Hermia is going to be a very poor woman very shortly. Thanks for the help, Shepard. I love nailing a sari. So ageless and superior. Then you get them and they squeal like schoolgirls. It must be nice having a job that you really enjoy. I wanted to be a cop or C-Sec, but my family had bills. I needed the money a corporate job brought in. Besides, in this job, you don't see things that make it hard to sleep at night. White-collar crime is nice and clean. Hell, at least this time I didn't have to wear heels and a dress. How'd you end up on Novaria, anyway? Scholarship program and a competitive internship. Turned out I was only middling at the science, but I could always ferret out secrets. You grow up poor and surrounded by rich kids, you get good at hiding yourself. Helps with going undercover. What's up next for you? Research. We've had some hacking attacks lately, and I want to make sure they're external. A lot of people are suddenly interested in dark energy. My bosses want to know if it's something to worry about. That'll hold me over until I have to go back undercover anyway. It must be hard going undercover so often. It's not so bad. Go new places, be new people. The only weird part is when you go home and try to talk to people, and you forget how to react. Like it's another cover, you know? Deep down, part of you likes fooling people. That's what makes you good at it. Part of me, yeah. I grew up poor and working class. Now I walk around the rich and powerful, taking notes, getting evidence. And they never see me coming. It's been a pleasure, Gianna. You too, Shepard. See you around. Okay, I don't know if she's giving me any money. It's going to take a while for all these to go through. So, all right, just give him a minute while they go through, and then I need minimal heat increase and speed. I have extremely high performance requirements. Certainly, sir. Safe too. I need a one hundred percent safety guarantee of anything going on to my suit. Okay. Didn't seem like we got any money there. Do you Fine. Have anything flashier? No, I haven't had any luck yet. She insists it was legal. I don't know. I'm going to call in a favor and have a friend examine the contract. Shepard. I... I don't suppose you'd remember me. I'm Shiala. We met on Pharos during the Geth attack. Saren had given me to the Thorian creature as a slave, and you killed it. 
and saved me. I promised to help Zeus Hope recover. I'm actually here on Ilium for just that purpose. Okay, um... To be honest, nope, I don't remember you, but hopefully Shepard does. How's Zeus Hope doing? We've done a lot of rebuilding. We even salvaged some useful material from the Geth ship you destroyed. The Exogeny researchers got called back to their headquarters, however, along with what was left of the Thorian. Is it Exogeny pushing colonists around again, or did the Thorians somehow survive our fight? No. Exogeny has been very supportive of Zeus Hope. They actually seem to want to help us survive, and the Thorian is dead. Though, after all you went through to kill it, I understand your concern. I fear that after our adventure on Pharos, my purpose on Ilium will seem mundane by comparison. Is there something I can do to help? I'd appreciate it. I've reached the limits of my diplomatic abilities, and I prefer not to start trouble. Some of the colonists had health problems as a result of the Thorian control. We hired a colonial survey group to do some medical scans. But the medical contract apparently allows the company to perform invasive procedures without our consent. That's why I'm here. <laughs> why are you... That's a bit personal, isn't it? Why are you green? Oh. Okay, um... Let's... Let's do the professional stuff first. Tell me more about the contract you signed for these scans. Barrier Frontiers was interested in our problem. They offered to perform medical scans and deliver treatment for next to nothing. I should have known it was too good to be true, but we were desperate. In the fine print, we apparently agreed to let them perform invasive follow-up procedures if they deem it valuable, which they have. Can they actually force these procedures on you? No, but they can declare us in breach of contract, which means we're responsible for the full price we would have paid normally. Zoo's hope just got back on its feet. There's no way we can afford that, Shepard. What kind of health problems did the colonists have? Headaches or muscle spasms similar to what they experienced while under Thorian control. Sometimes, the colonists near another former Thorian victim shared sensations like heat or pain. It has to be a result of trace amounts of the Thorian's parasitic spores. You can see why we'd want it studied and cured. Yes. But I'm gonna have to ask. I need to. Sorry. Wait a minute, Shiala. You were only green when the Thorian made you a clone. The real you was blue like normal Asari. Those health problems, I said, were related to the Thorian control. This is mine. A few months after the Thorian died, my skin pigment changed. My biotic abilities are unstable as well. I'm also having vivid dreams about my time with the Thorian. It is disconcerting. Oh, wait a minute. Were you the one who was sent out to speak to me? On behalf of the Thori before we killed it. Was that you? Or am I getting you mixed up with someone else? You know what? I don't remember. Sorry, but you know what? I'll help you out. I'll talk to the survey group. I appreciate it, Shepard. The Barrier Frontiers representative knows about the issue. Okay, right, more things. Bloody hell, a protagonist's work is never done. Alright, have you got anything to say before? Move on. Nothing to declare? Move along. Gladly. Right, I was expecting you to um, have something to say to me, but okay. I saw your conversation, human. You're here to complain about the medical contracts those colonists from Pharaoh signed. I suggest you leave. Your life is short enough. Do not waste what time you have bothering me. Hmm, okay. You're a bit snippy, aren't you? What's your problem with humans? <sighs> not just humans, it's all of you. The Salarians and Turians are no better. 
the galaxy would be a better place if nobody but the Asari had ever dragged themselves out of the primordial muck. Wow. Racist much. Why are you so prejudiced against aliens? Phew, where do I begin? With Salarian explorers unleashing the Rachni upon us, then unleashing the Krogan to correct their mistake? Or the Turians, so eager to bomb every problem away? Or humans, the new arrivals who already think they should be in charge? Every war that has plagued this galaxy has been caused by your people. My people's deaths are on your hands. Whose deaths are we talking about exactly? The mother of my daughters was killed on the Quarian homeworld during the initial Geth uprising. My daughters died on the Citadel when the Geth attacked. One worked in the embassy. The other was a greeter for the consort. I'm not speaking in hypotheticals, human. The aliens will never be my allies. The best they can do is give me useful medical data. Why was your bond made on the Quarian homeworld? Studying the Quarians. Not their technology, but their music. She loved all their art. Said they had old souls. I think that's where my daughters got it from. Both of them love talking with people, exploring new cultures. They sound like wonderful people. The galaxy is lesser for their loss. Yes, it is. Do you think they'd want you to do this? I I'm not. I, I didn't. Oh. I'm sending an amended contract. No more tests, no fees. There's enough grief in this galaxy. I don't need to add to it. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. All right, I was just trying to um, get to know her a bit better before we went to discuss the contract, but okay. And, ooh. Star charts. Okay. You know what? We m oh. I need to save up some money though, don't we? Ah, screw it. They're only, what, 500 each? Yeah, two grand. You know what? Let's get them. Don't know what they're going to do. Maybe they'll put more things on my star map. We'll see. But, hey. Might as well. Okay, let's go and tell her it's fine. Oh. Yeah, I had to deal with Arinya though. I feel like I need a shower. What do you expect? She's a pure blood. They're all like that. You did it. I just got the revised contracts. Thank you, Shepard. You've saved Zeus' hope again. I don't think I could have. Is it always like this? Yesterday's problems lingering in some new form. Isn't anything ever just fixed? Oh, that's a bit dark, isn't it? Oh, okay. Yeah, come on, let's cheer you up a bit. It's not all bad. You've got the power to make a difference, Shiala. Not everyone does. You're right. You gave us a chance by saving the colony. I can't let them down. I won't. Thank you for what you've done here, Shepard. I'll keep doing what I can. Maybe sometime when I'm not organizing the colony and... You're not doing whatever you do. And someone else is flirting with us. Great. You know, geez. Just can't go anywhere without being flirted with, can we? Right, you know what? With example, that, I think we'll call it a part there. We didn't actually get to Liara. But you know what? It's fine. We'll um, get to it next time. So, I hope you join me back here next time for that. And then we'll see what else is going on and help everybody else out.
But in the meantime, I've been Sankey for this yeah, I've has been Mass Effect. Thank you so good. much for joining me. Look after each other. And you can sell until next time, goodbye!